Hey guys, today we are going to do a temporary tattoo with some food coloring. I know you could do it with a Sharpie and baby powder and hairspray, but we're just gonna do it with this just because I wanna use a stencil and I think it'd be a lot easier. So what you're gonna need is some thick um, lotion just to make your stencil stick on the skin, your hairspray and baby powder, your cotton balls to put on the food coloring with, and your Q-tips to get it out. I'm using the gel because I think the liquid food coloring would be a little bit too runny. So let's get started. Okay, so to start out, you're gonna take your stencil, flip it upside down, and then just take the lotion and rub it anywhere that you want it to stick. Now it's not gonna make it completely flat, but it'll help it so it doesn't slide around as you're dabbing the food coloring on. After this, you're gonna stick it on wherever you're doing it. I'm going to do it on an arm. And then we will go from there. So I'll finish this up. Okay, after you put your lotion on, you wanna place the stencil on the arm. I'm going to put it right about there. Now, like I said, it's not gonna completely stick it down, but it'll give you a good guideline for it and help it a little bit. Okay, so once that's on, you're going to open up your food coloring and take your Q-tip and just get some out and dab it onto a cotton ball. That should be okay. Now you take your cotton ball and you just start dabbing away. You wanna do this until the whole thing is covered and to your liking. And I'm gonna finish up and we'll be right back. Okay, after I was done doing the food coloring part, I just carefully removed my stencil. Now I'm gonna spray it with hairspray. And we're gonna lift the arm up, just so. And sprinkle baby powder on that right away. Now it's gonna make a mess. Hopefully you don't mind. And what I do is I just pat it. All right, we're gonna let that settle. Okay, after I've patted it, I'm gonna wipe off some of the extra. And then you just spray it again. And as you can see, it really makes the colors pop. Um, and then after that, you kinda don't want it to drip because it will bleed the colors. And then you can either let it dry or you can blow dry it, which I'm going to do, and after I do that, I will show you the end results. Okay, now that we have hairsprayed it and dried it all, this is what it looks like. It's a little splotchy, but I kind of like it. It looks like a sky, so I hope you guys have fun, and good luck. Go Dubs!